Hi, Adventure Alan here today, and I'm going to do a deep dive comparing the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Southwest 3400 pack to the Osprey Exos 58 pack. These packs are two of our top picks in our 2019 guide to the best backpacks for backpacking. Let's do a quick overview of these two great packs. The Hyperlite Mountain Gear Southwest 3400 pack has just the essential features. As the saying goes, it has everything you need and nothing you don't. At just two pounds, it's far lighter than most packs. It's a rugged, durable pack and nearly waterproof. As such, it's up to any trip Allison and I take, and we go on some rough ones. It costs $345. In comparison, the popular Osprey Exos 58 pack is a fully featured pack. It has all the buzzers, bells, and creature comforts, including Osprey's signature airspeed suspension that ventilates your back. It has a pack lid with a top pocket, but at 2 pounds 11 ounces, it's 30% heavier, and it's less rugged using lighter fabrics and materials. It isn't waterproof. It costs $220. Anyway, let's roll up our sleeves and jump into our deep dive. First, both packs are just over 55 liters. That's a great size for most backpacking trips up to 7 days. And both packs do a great job of carrying seven days of food and gear. I'll start with the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Pack. As the saying goes, this pack has everything you need and nothing you don't. It's made with strong, durable, high-tech, Dyneema composite fabric. This fabric is waterproof and the seams are taped. As such, with its roll-top, dry bag type closure, it's nearly waterproof. And the bottom of the pack is a double layer of thicker Dyneema. All the straps are wide and the clips and adjusters are large enough to easily use with cold, wet hands. Let's move over to the Osprey pack. Um, as a general note, while it's 11 ounces heavier, this pack in general uses lighter, less rugged fabric and smaller hardware. It's not necessarily brad, it's just a reality of adding more features and trying to hold the weight down. Actually, we think Osprey's done a great job of balancing features and weight on this pack. This hack, pack has a lot more um, doodads, cords, adjusters, mesh, or thin fabric, and seams to catch or snag or tear. Again, not good or bad, just a, it is a design decision. One of the most obvious differences between these packs is that the Osprey has a top pocket. It's a really nice organizational feature and the pocket can be removed to reduce pack weight or take in the tent with you for the night, which is something that a lot of people like to do. The side pockets um, are a combination of mesh and fabric, um, as is the back fat pocket. Um, as such, they're a little more delicate. This mesh, we've had, it tends to tear and snag on things like brush or rocks if you're not careful. Um, and they're a little smaller than the pockets on the HMG pack. The stretch does um, keep them lying a little nice and flatter um, when you don't have them stuffed full of gear. But these side pockets are cut really, they're cut really high. Um, you can see the difference between the HMG pack. And we really can't get a water bottle out without, with walking. We have to take the pack off to get a water bottle out or ask someone to hand it to us. As such, we think this is um, a pack that's designed to be used with the hydration system. Not surprisingly, um, it has a very nice internal hydration system built into it. Um, there's kind of a nice double compression system in here that sort of zigzags through the pack. It's a little hard to see here, but sort of zigzags along the pack. But you can also see that the hardware here is, is a little, it's, it's smaller than on the HMG pack, and this is kind of hard to do even with dry hands. So let's take a look at the back of these packs. Um, I'm going to flip them over. We'll start with the Osprey. Um, last, probably last but not least, this is um, you're looking at um, Osprey's airspeed suspension system. This is the feature that launched Osprey and that it's built its reputation and popularity on. And it does a great job of transferring pack weight to your hips. And the mesh panel reduces sweat on your back. The hip belt is short, but it's adequate. Um, but one thing that is, is missing is it doesn't have any hip belt pockets. Um, so when you combine the no hip belt pockets with the fact that you really can't get anything out of the side pockets while walking, 
There really isn't a pocket on this pack that you can easily access without taking the pack off. Um, let's move over to the HMG pack now. I'm going to flip it over. And we'll take a look at this pack. Um, first of all, um, it's got this Dyneema back panel. Um, it's lightly padded. Um, it has two big beefy old school aluminum stays running up and down it that firmly anchor into this hip belt. This hip belt is wide and padded. It's, it's full width. And you'll see that it has two big pockets on it. Um, you can fit a, even a small to medium sized camera in one. I can even fit a small mirrorless camera in it. Or you could put snack food in the day. Um, so if you look at this compared to the Osprey pack, you've got four pockets that you can access while walking with the pack. These two hip belt pockets and these two side pockets. Um, the shoulder straps are nice and wide. Um, full length. Um, I've got a nice pocket, add-on pocket that HMG includes with the pack, but that's not included in the pack. I've added, but it's a nice add-on. Um, again, nice wide adjusters and straps on the pack. Um, now let's just talk about ventilated back panels and mesh. There is no ventilated mesh back panel on this pack. So did our backs get sweaty? Yeah, they got sweaty. Was it a problem? Not so much. We still had a great hike. So that wraps up our deep dive. And now many of you are probably thinking, so cut to the chase, which is the best pack? The answer is, is there's no one right pack for everybody. There's only the right pack for you. And just to be very clear, both are great packs. They just wouldn't be in our backpack guide if they weren't. They just have different designs to meet different needs and hiking styles. Allison and I use the Hyperlite Mountain Gear packs much of the time. It fits our ultralight ethos and hiking style, which consists of a lot of off-trail bushwhacking and scrambling, sometimes in really wet climates. But we have friends that love and use Osprey packs. Finally, these aren't the only good packs by a long shot. Our 2019 guide to backpacks features over a dozen of the best backpacks on the market. And it's got lots of tips and advice on how to choose the best pack for you. So check it out. Anyway, this is Adventure Allen signing off and wishing you a great year of hiking.